Hit Thinkers. Welcome back to another episode of Critical Hit. My name is S. And I'm Pin. And today we're going to be discussing an article by Collider, brought to us by Collider here, called Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny Finally Breaks Even at the Global Box Office. Because they're liars. They are absolutely liars. This isn't even disingenuous. They're, they're just number fudgers. Straight, I, yeah, I don't even know how they got these numbers. It's insane. But anyways, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny might not be doing so bad at the worldwide box office. But its extensive production budget might be the factor that prevents it from being a total success. As of this morning, the sequel directed by James Mangold has earned $302 million, finally matching the estimated $300 million it cost to be made. Even with Harrison Ford back in the iconic role of the archaeologist who spends his free time saving the world from unspeakable evil, there is no denying that the movie will have a hard time with turning a profit for the studio. Alright, so why is this such a lie? Yeah, the movie costs, according to them, $300 million. Production budget. Okay, what it doesn't account for is the marketing, distribution, interest on loans, so many different things. Oh, so you know what so I'm going to do? I just broke down some numbers in Excel, Excel spreadsheet, takes into account a whole bunch of those different fees and costs. I'm going to throw it up on the screen right now. And as you can see, um, let's just compare it to another movie, The Flash. Mainstream bomb. media right now is saying it's a massive bomb, worst bomb of the year. Not going to make any money for Warner Brothers. You know, based on the numbers I could find, and I could actually find a real marketing budget for it, the Flash is absolutely already down $211 million, doing mm -hmm, terribly. Mm -hmm. Do you know what's doing worse than that? Indiana Jones. What? Well, that is a box office success. It's already broke even, right? Yeah. Or absolutely. it's still down $249 million, even not taking into account. Well, it's Disney, you know. I couldn't find the actual marketing, so I just threw $100 million on there. Do I think they spent $100 million? I think they spent at least double that. Oh, yes. Insane. Insane. Anyway, it's going to lose over $300 million. But beside the point um, of what I'm going to get into next, so let's talk about how it did this weekend. Can it make up that $249 million? Possibly. Indiana Jones, this is uh, from Box Office Mojo. It's just going to show the worldwide total. And of course, this is all estimates. No one knows for sure. And how did it do on the weekend? Friday, made $3.2 million. Saturday, $4.8 million. Sunday, made $4.1 million. Just over $12 million or $12.3 million there for a week-over-week -week drop of uh, about 56% overall. That's, I mean, considering their numbers are so terrible to begin with, th these are terrible numbers. Terrible numbers. It's abysmal. not going to make money. It's going to lose so much money. I would be surprised if it didn't lose $300 million. But it's already broke even, right? It's already broke even. It's already making money. Like, you know, it's... Anyways, Clyder bought and paid for by Disney. Bob Iger's yeah. got a direct line, apparently. This is where that marketing went. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Anyway, I just wanted to point out that mainstream media not only are disingenuous, they're complete and utter liars. We're winning this fight. Disney's losing. They're going to continue to lose money. They're going to have to change course because they care about making money. Because they keep putting the wrong characters and destroying people. Like, they're destroying old characters we all know and love and replacing them with half-assed, hollow characters that nobody likes. Yeah, you know what? I wouldn't even say Indiana Jones, the, the latest one, Dial of Destiny, was a terrible movie. It was Phoebe Waller-Bridge that made it terrible. It uh, really was. She was insufferable. She was just so terrible in that movie. And like, they deconstructed his character for her. Every male trait that you don't like, she had. Yeah. Anyways, you, watch our review Ugh. It's uh, if you want to hear what we had to think about the movie. At the time, uh, didn't like it very much. Not surprised it's not doing so well in the box office. And as of right now, it stands to be the biggest flop of the year, despite what mainstream media is saying. It's losing more money than The Flash, and we all know how bad The Flash was. Yeah. Anyways, that's uh, we're, we're winning, guys. Keep up the fight. You got anything else? No, I have nothing else to say. Perfect. Leave us down, a comment down below. Let us know if you want to see a breakdown like this for any other movies. And happy to do it. But otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. All right, see you guys later.